Hello folks and welcome back to Fishing Planet. Uh, we are still over at St. Croix Lake and I think we're going to be here for quite a while. At least uh, we will be here like grinding in the background for a while. I'm, I'm hoping to start showcasing more competitions in the future. I just need to get my uh, my gear uh, all settled because I've got, I've got some gear that I consider to be fairly mismatched. And uh, I need to try and, and uh, especially get some, some nice open face reels that, that uh, allow for uh, more line. Because right now, the, the amount of line that the ones I have hold isn't cutting it for me. So, uh, first thing we're going to do, of course, is check. Alright. Is that tomorrow at 2 to 4? Alright, that doesn't work for me. I never lock out. There's They never have any competitions or anything in a good time. I don't I don't know why. Never anything like around 7 or 8 o'clock in the afternoon. As a start time, then you know I could I'd be able to join it towards the end. I only caught that one 10 o'clock competition at one time. Alright, let's get right in here. Everybody's hitting the unique muskies right now. Alright. As of right now, this setup that I have right here is my... Probably my best, but I, I do need a better pull. I definitely need to upgrade the rod with this setup. And then in that, I might shift the reel out too, because really this, this reel is meant for for giant fish this is meant for a carp setup but i got it as my uh my lure setup right now i think i'm going to have to uh shift it over for for a catfish my catfish rod i gotta i definitely have to rebalance this but I, again I, I need something that'll go to at least 400 feet um because i have fish that'll drag me out there I've been having some pike hit like 20 feet out. I've had I've had several pike hit it almost as I was about to have it come out of the water. It's always exciting because you think you know it's, it's a nothing cast, you didn't get anything out of them, boosh, you just nail a pike right at the end. I apologize for the eating. I'm just eating a little bit of caramel corn and then I'll be done in a few minutes. Sorry. There we go. Well, we got a runner.
There he comes. Hey, that's a nice start right there. Trophy Northern Pike. Thank you very much. I actually prefer the Trophy Northern Pikes over just about everything else because you get you get a lot of XP and a lot of money per the weight of the fish. So you can hold a lot of those before you actually have to go and uh, reset everything. We're going to be doing a reset sometime soon. Like We're going to go and repair everything. I have been on this lake now for uh, days in-game, probably almost a full, full week in-game, I think. And um, a lot of my equipment got uh, damaged through uh, stupid mistakes that I made. I absolutely, no matter what, need to put a different reel on my catfish pole. Because that pole right now is almost unusable. All right, fish on. Buddy, where are you going? Oh, I'm going to pull it right through that lily weed. Lily pads. Looks like I got it through okay. Sponsor competition. Pike party. Pike party solo. At the St. Croix, let join now. Oh, if it's Pike Party solo, I don't understand that.
I'm going to hold a big uh, pike competition here at some point. I know that. Pike or musky? Woo, 55 pound unique musky. Hell, that's a nice one. Oh, I can't open. That's right, I can't open the menu. Let's get this thing in first. I want to see what that competition was all about. If he really. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to contend with this first. Woo! Come on, I wanna see him run it all the way out. Go! Go! Go, baby! Yeah! Alright, so it's definitely a pike, not a catfish. Pike or a musky? That might be a musky. That's running like a musky. One, like a big big musky we started him at like what 50 feet already out to 133 holy cow look at him go that's oh that's a big boy that's a big boy Come on. I like this fishing spot because um, it kind of corrals them in this area. However, if they start going to the right like that one did earlier, that's when I run into issues. Yeah, he is. How's it going, Ania? Oh my gosh, he's over he's over at the other shoreline. I could walk over there and pick him up. Holy crap. This might be a unique. We might be getting we're at least getting a trophy fish of some sort. This might be a unique.
This, this boy's gonna take a while to bring in. Holy cow. This fight, this fight started, uh, Nania, when, uh, he bit the line at about 55 feet away from me, and he has now dragged me out to two, over 240. He's still going. Yeah, I know. I trust me. I know the rods, the weak part. I've been trying to camp here. I've been not wanting to leave uh, the lake. I'm trying to save as much money as I can. So I've just been dealing with this for a while. I've got two two weak spots I got to deal with. I got to deal with replacing this rod, and then I have to get. Uh, I actually shouldn't even have this reel on here. This reel is meant for a carp pole. I need to put this reel on my. Uh, my catfish uh, rig. I really need a, I need a lot of new stuff. The way this fish is going, though, he may get me to level 32. And maybe pretty close to filling that damn fish cabin. Yeah, the reason why the rod's at 37% is because uh, I almost broke it in half on one fish. Because uh, a fish hit the line before I had a chance to uh, set the drag appropriately and almost snapped it. So that was a multi-thousand dollar repair bill uh, whoopsie. I did the same thing. Well, it wasn't the same thing. I had a reel almost break on me because uh, it, it the line went out to the end. The line went out to the absolute end of uh, the spool and uh, almost almost broke the uh, the reel. It did serious damage to it. So I have that sitting in storage right now. <sighs> I think he's finally getting tired. He's finally getting tired. Well, somebody else just got a unique northern pike. I'm betting it's either... I don't think it's a... I didn't think it was a catfish, but I gotta get a look at it. I don't think it is. I think it's a musky. It's like the wrong color. The catfish or the gray. No, it's a musky. It's gotta be a musky. That's either a trophy musky. Either a trophy musky or like a unique, unique northern pike. And I'm seeing reddish fins, so I'm saying it's musky. Oh, come on in. Oh, he's big. Woo! <laughs> Trophy clear musky. All right. That's photo time. Oh, yeah. That's big. That's a big freaking fish. I like that. Got that level up. Ooh, we got the large cut bait now. That's for the uh, the catfish. That's 133, 154. We might as well get another fish to top it off. Yeah, that was that was a solid catch. That got me my level up all, all in one go. <laughs> yeah, we might as well we might as well fill the uh, the fish cabin. No use to leave it until we do. Then I will have enough money to buy some new gear. 
So let's hope we get another one of them or something similar. I've caught a number of catfish on this lure. It's always a surprise when I do, but I have caught I have caught catfish on this jerk bait before. I caught a trophy uh, catfish on it. Almost broke the entire setup. What level are you at these days, Nania? Alright, here we go. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. All right. I think already we've ruled out him being a tiny fish. He's at least decent. Oh, yeah. There he goes. We're getting some really nice fish right now. Hopefully we don't lose him for some stupid reason. I would like to get another nice fish. I'm pretty sure we saw him jump. Like, you see, he's ju he jumped over there. Don't think that's no... Definitely not a catfish. He's not really acting like one. Yeah, no, he keeps jumping. That's a that's some type of pike. Oh my gosh. Might pick up something to be able to hold more lures and stuff too. Get some, get an upgraded vest or something like that. Cause right now I'm, I'm desperately in need of space. Oh my gosh, he's still going. He's still going. I think St. Croix is definitely my uh, favorite spot so far. Emerald Lake was fun, um, and Everglades was neat, but like the variety that you get at St. Croix, there's just there's just so much to do here. I, I really love the lake so much. You already gave it to me last time you were here, bud. I'm kind of just doing my own thing with whatever I'm able to afford at the moment. I did look through it a little bit. It's just hard for me to be able to save up enough without using premium all the time. I just, whenever I have enough, I usually just buy like one new item. And I slap it on something. My big ticket item I need to buy coming up is a new, I need I need to buy a new uh, keep net. That's going to be the big thing I need to buy sometime very soon. Because I'm, out, I'm outgrowing the one that I got right now. Especially with the catfish.
That was a regular muskie? Holy hell. Some bitch fought. Holy crap, 154.275, 154.3 is my my max. I'm able to get another fish in there by, what is it, that's point, uh, point 0.725. That, that much remaining allows me to put another full fish in there. That's awesome. Something played with it. See if we get a pike to just jump into our hands like we had happened that one time. Oh! Oh, I think that caught on a weed. I caught on the reeds over there. I, I made it clear across to the other side. There we go. And there he goes. If I could, I would love to prevent him from going that way. Come on over here, you little shit. I think this, this guy's coming right in. There we go. Trophy Northern Pike, not a bad one to finish on. Alright. I think we're finally at a point where we're going to have enough money to be able to buy something. So let's, let's head out of here. Let's see, because I think it'll give me my total... Yeah, that's what my total was since I got to the lake. This last run through. Alright, how much would it be to get all of this done? You know what? That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Um, I want to look in the shop and see what we have net, net wise first before I repair a damn thing. <sighs> I don't think it's worth the money for me right now. I think I need to focus on equipment first.
but they don't increase the max single fish weight size until this one. That one would be good for the catfish. All right. Um, no, we have to start with rods. No, we don't want that one. That's the float rod. Where's the last float rod? Is this the one I got? So it's a 9 to 25. It is the Thor. So this thing's only 6 to 21. This is what I've been using. So I think... That's, that's going to be the, where we're going to definitely spend our first amount of money. At least that's fairly inexpensive. We don't want a caster, we want that. That's our only option at the moment. I wish we had something else to go with, but that that is the only option. That's a float rod. That's not that many bait coins. Well, what are we changing from? We're changing from a level 27. I can afford one, one new reel. Um, Nani, is there any way to see where, uh, where, like, how much line it'll hold? Is that what that second number is?
Ah. So really, if I want... So, like, what's your opinion on, on going with something like this? Well, let's say the Big River, the Big River 6500 versus going with the Aspira Double Punch, which is currently the highest level one that I can use. What's, what's your opinion between those two? That's hard to say. Gotcha. I think I'm gonna go with the Hornet Swarm. It's cheaper and it holds more of the braided line. All right, so what does that leave me with?
Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go and... What vest am I wearing? So I'll gain five more slots and one more line slot. Okay. My backpack is full. Ah, okay, that's why. Let's see. What's the line that I got? I got the 28. 28 pound test fluoro. Could get the braid. Put that on a catfish pole. I don't think it's worth it. Not it's not enough of an upgrade for me right now. So if I'm building this new thing, how much can I get out of this? I 
feel like that and I almost feel like that would do it. We're gonna have to go in and test some stuff. Titanium leader. These are all my old titanium leaders. Well, let's keep the stack of those. See, I've got, I've got this stuff, but I feel like I don't want to use it yet because I feel like that'd be cheating. I don't want to put that on, on what I have right now. Even on the catfish pole. I mean, it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun to have on the catfish pole, but I don't know. I'd feel weird using that. I think that's the better better option. And then we'll assemble that later. Twenty pound line on drag setting eleven. Okay. Keeping the Inspire Cast 2000 to make like an ultralight setup. That's the one that almost broke. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use that one again. This one I'm keeping for the carp fishing. That's the carp one.
Alright, I think this will be like the last thing I look at. Alright, we've upgraded, because of this reel, we've upgraded the catfish setup tremendously. I mean, we have a better pole now, too. So our catfish setup is way better than what it was. Um, this is going to be the new casting setup right here, I think. So this is going to be a hell of a test. some of that older line. This is going to be the lighter setup now. Alright, we have backup equipment. I think we're ready to head in. Yeah, I had... The leader, where was it? I thought I... Are you talking about using a leader on the, um... On the catfish pole? Because the line, the line itself is a higher pound test. I'm just using the titanium, um... For when I'm going for the pike and the muskies, because they degrade the line faster. If you're just using regular line, they, uh... They start shearing through it. At least that's what I've noticed. Well, what the hell? Let's do, let's do this thing. Alright, let's see if I ruined my setup. If I did, I'm gonna take the uh, the reel. I'm gonna take the reel off of the catfish pull. Oh, the advertisements are so bad. Alright, so we're we're not so bad right now. We're gonna just we're gonna wait it out. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on a second. 
Did we just, uh, did we lose our cast distance? We lost our cast distance. So I think... I think we may have to get the other reel back out. Or is that the rod length that's affecting that more than anything? Gotcha. I think I need to get my, my casting distance back. It's not, I, I lost about, I lost about 75 feet in my casting distance. That's no good. Well, that sucks. I, they really needed to have a better rod available for this level. I feel like there wasn't anything good. I feel like we really got screwed on the rod uh, circumstance. So this real, the real I, the real I bought's a piece of shit. What is it though? Maybe that's. All right. So at least that was a trophy, Northern Pike. We're going to have to give that thing some extensive testing. I want to go see how the catfish setup is right now, though. I, I think that's the... Yeah, let's, let's go check out the catfish. I know that the catfish normally bite better at night, but I want to at least give this thing a go. Whoops. 
No, we need to get we need to get some new line on this.
All right, I think we'll try back at nighttime for the catfish. Boats are moved to their start positions. Alright, what the hell is going on here? Oh, my boat was moved to the start position. Now, what was that custom competition that one dude made? So this is that one for tomorrow, right? The one I saw, but I didn't see the other St. Croix. He must have made it as an immediate thing. Wall ass set up. I feel like I should get rid of this pole. I shouldn't even have this one equipped right now. I just don't want to lose this damn lure. I can't. I don't think I can replace it right now. And we're already up near the max drag setting for what we can do. Like the rod, the rod's definitely better than what we had. But I don't think the real is. I mean, I know the real's not. The re I mean, like it, it wasn't going to be better. It just needed to be evenly matched with the uh, the rod, and it, it looks like it's not. Another trophy northern pike. At least we're getting, um, I don't know, the the fight for a trophy northern pike that's pretty decent. We were able to get him in like that. So I, I guess the big thing is going to come down to how is it going to be for a trophy muskie or unique muskie. Unique muskie is probably going to be god-awful to try to get in with this thing. I, I don't even know if there's unique. Well, I guess there is. I guess we've seen people haul out un, unique muskies. Boy, our hit rate's really good right now. That's a little guy.
Alright, here we go. I will be curious to see how big this one is. Cause I can't I can't gauge how we're doing in our fights yet until I get something bigger. Like we need like a trophy muskie of some sort. Well, so far the rod is performing better than the one that we had by far. I hope that the uh, float rod we bought for the catfish is good too. It sucks that we sunk all this money. I guess it wasn't that much. I spent like what seventeen grand on this reel, so I I could have I could have sunk more. Is that a catfish? You know what? That might be a catfish, huh? That's a catfish. I guess that's a real good sign then that it's performing this well against the catfish. Hey, you come you come back here now. Come on, asshole. Look at them go. Boy, they get that second wind and they just take off. Ugh, love to be able to get a catfish this big in real life. I've been getting mostly small catfish. Caught a lot of catfish last Friday, but they were all mostly small. The biggest one I had, which was, it's one of the biggest ones I've caught, was about, I don't know, 16 or 17 inches. You know, a few pounds. Haven't really caught anything that much bigger than that. And that's pretty pitiful for a catfish. I'm going to be curious to see how big this one is. It didn't look specifically too huge, but you never know. Got him in. Yeah, not even a trophy. That's the only issue I'm having with this jerk bait so far is that this lure uh, does tend to attract catfish, and maybe it's because it's the color. I haven't I haven't uh, caught any catfish on the other jerk bait that I had. I lost I lost the other one I had. Um, it was a special Fourth of July one, which really bummed me out because I it was it was a really nice lure, and I, I had caught I caught a a, um, a unique muskie on it. I think. Either unique or it was just a really nice trophy. I think it was. It was. A, no, I remember what it was. It was a unique northern pike. 
I caught a unique northern pike on it. it was like, that was a great catch. And I lost that lure uh, to three seconds of stupidity early one morning when I woke up and I uh, set the drag wrong on something. Well, I think what we're going to do is... I've probably got enough money. Yeah, more than enough money to to stay another day anyways. Uh, so what I'm going to do... We're definitely going to advance time. But I want to get over there first. And then we're going to, we're going to maximize the amount of time we have on that platform. In the, uh, the sweet spot for... Uh, for the night time. Okay.
Alright, let's see how much we can push this. <laughs> yeah, better, better reel. That reel is what we needed for this setup. Oh, I think we're we're at peak catfish pulling power right now. I think we've got a sweet catfish rig now. Tell you one thing, the reel ain't gonna be the problem with this setup. That means that this setup is going to be sweet for tarpon. I'm going to have to revisit the tarpon, tarpon spot down in the Everglades. I haven't, I, I never had an appropriate pole to fish them with. So I think if I bring this, this whole setup down there, it's going to be much better this time around. Oh my god, that was a trophy? Oh, that pole did excellent. Yeah, I can't I can't break this setup apart now. I wanted to take the reel back and put it back on my other uh, pole for, for going for muskies and stuff, but I just I can't I just can't do it now. Maybe I'll buy a second cart pack or something. Maybe I'll spend the five dollars and get another cart pack so I can get a better reel for my uh, my spin spin setup. I'll see what I'll see what I can get. All right, I think I may uh, end the stream uh, for the night there on that high note, getting a nice catfish. So thanks, everybody. Stop by. I appreciate it. We'll see you uh, here soon on Whelp Squad TV. Everybody have a good night.